What's up, everybody? Stick around. I want to introduce you to the newest member of my training arsenal, the Glock 19 CO2 gun. Stay tuned. I just wanted to take a moment to greet all of my subscribers and welcome all the new visitors to 411 Outdoors. I appreciate you taking time to click on this video. My channel is devoted to outdoor adventure. I like to work with all kinds of gadgets and talk about survival and just different ways that we can have a good time outdoors training and doing all the things we love. If you like this kind of content, I'd be pumped if you'd hit that subscribe button. Just don't forget to click that bell as well. Let's get rolling. One of the things my channel is largely centered around is my training grounds out here. I like to work with a, a various number of weapons, uh, everything from throwing knives, archery, and the list just goes on and on. One of the things that I like to do out here is I like to include the mechanics of shooting. Now, here's the thing. I live in a neighborhood. I've got houses beside me, all around me. Um, the woods are fairly open back here, but you know, a lot of that, this is not my land. It's just land that I'm able to go back and use. There's trails back there that have been built by people in the community. There's creeks and stuff. You've seen that on my videos. I'm still not comfortable training back here with a real firearm. I live in the county and it's legal, so to speak, to do it out here, but it's not befitting based on where I'm at. But I don't want that to stop me. I don't want that to deter me away from getting out and training with the mechanics of a handgun and training in the area of movement and just shooting something. You know, we can't always get to the range, but that shouldn't stop us from training. You know, uh, when it comes to, you know, some of the pistols that I've been using, I use airsoft pistols a lot. They're single shot. They don't really allow me the chance to go pop, pop, pop. So I went out and I purchased the Glock 19 CO2 pistol. This is a semi-automatic pistol. It's got great reviews on Amazon. Uh, I think it's a great CO2 gun to train with. From what I gather, this Glock 19 CO2 gun has a lot of the, the same features and weight and feel of the Glock. Now, I don't own the Glock pistol. And from other reviews that I've seen, this CO2 pistol has a very similar feel to the Glock 19. All right, let's take a look at this. I wanna just give you a, a good look if you're shopping for this and thinking about picking one up, show you the other side. This is really heavy in the hand. And as I mentioned, it's supposed to feel very similar to the real Glock. I'm gonna show you how to load this and how all of that works. And I've got some, you know, Crossman CO2 here. I've got some 0.177 BBs, which is what is supposed to go in this. So I'll load that up and got me a pair of safety glasses here. All right, so first thing we wanna do is just, you know, hit this button to remove the magazine. You can load the BBs up. You can load them from the top or you can pull the spring down and load them in that little hole right there. I think it's just as easy to load from the top. That's just me. Uh, some BB canisters will allow you to pour, literally pour the BBs in the hole. I just, I just put them in by hand. After you've taken the magazine out and loaded it with BBs, the next thing you want to do is pop this back piece off. It just comes right off. There's a little, it's a little tool here, a little, little nut that you can, you know, loosen loosen the bottom of this here so you can put your co2 cartridge in loosens pretty easily now i'm just going to put my co2 cartridge in there what you're going to need to do is tighten it up there's a little needle that pokes into the top of this co2 tank here so what i'm going to do now is just load this up you'll hear it make a sound there you go all right we just tighten it up pull it out all right, we should be ready to shoot. that as much as I did and this Glock 19 CO2 gun is really cool and I think it's a great little trainer I think you get about eight clips in one CO2 cartridge I think I heard that somewhere I have not validated that or tested that for myself but you know the CO2 cartridges are fairly inexpensive you can get six for about six dollars 
That's what I paid for the six pack that I got. Again, this thing is not a toy. Uh, this shoots with a pretty good deal of power. And you know what? I think having something like this and getting out here and training is better than no training at all. It's not gonna recoil as much as you know your actual Glock or your nine millimeter. I still think you can get a fairly good training session in learning to move about, draw the weapon, get in position, take multiple shots. And I just can't say enough about it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Always be safe. Uh, again, I, I do recommend eye protection with this, especially with me. You know, I sometimes like to get inside of tight circles here and shoot. It's good to have that eye protection on. Always make sure the coast is clear. I know back here, uh, I'm back here all the time. There's no one back there. It's a big valley behind me, so I know I'm safe to shoot that direction. You just want to consider all of those things. You can uh, create a catch box for something like this, similar with a slingshot. Just put a, a lot of cloth in the back of the cardboard box and shoot at cans. Uh, really fun. Super excited that I picked this up. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'll catch you in the next video.